Hello guys, this is group number 7 and uh, this is our project number 3 that relates with uh, obstacle avoidance or basically path planning, static path planning using probabilistic roadmap and d star algorithm. So this is our tooling setup, this is the same basic setup that we had in our uh, project 2. So we have two Arduinos, we have two servos and this is our link, two link robot. Uh, instead of pen as we had it the last time this time we have a laser pointer here so you can see and uh, basically the arrangement is we have our obstacle we have the starting position and this is the goal position and the system has to go through a path that it will be planning through MATLAB uh, using two algorithms that is D star and PRM and it should cross and go towards the goal position and it shouldn't uh, overlap the obstacle area so let's start with the MATLAB code and go through the demo of this complete system hello everyone so we are back to MATLAB so let's just begin so we'll create the map using map make map of 200 so this will basically create a map of uh, 200 cross 200 so here we can just like this is the tool popping up so now we can just select any points and we press P for that and after selecting some number like random number of points it will just create a polygon over this so I have selected four points so you should see a rectangle there so as soon as I press enter so here you see the red rectangle basically this rectangle uh, the red area is all uh, stored in the form of 1 and everything else is stored in the form of 0 in map so this is how uh, you can create many other obstacles and uh, basically navigate or create a uh, path planning system that is static in nature so now we have pressed Q to save it or uh, now but uh, we already have a uh, existing map so we'll just clear everything up and we'll work with that so now let's just work uh, with the pre-saved map that we already did for saving up the time so let's load that map so now we have the map now let's uh, start with d star so ds is equals to d star of map so this will give us uh, the map and basically a ds object now we'll set the goal point that would be uh, basically the planning the goal point and this will basically create a uh, basically the cost matrix so the cost matrix would be important since uh, d star optimizes the path based on cost matrix and it will calculate that using gradient methods from the goal point position towards all of the blocks available and all the neighboring blocks surrounding the goal and all the other blocks surrounding them so it recursively parses all of the blocks inside the map to generate this cost matrix so this is like a CPU intensive task and once this is done we should be able to see that okay so the path is ready now so let's plot the path from a starting point so for that we should type d uh, basically we'll save the path in path one so ds dot path of the start position so now it is saved in path one but since we cannot see the map let's just look at the map by just giving by just deleting the path one variable and we should be able to see the map and the uh, path planning algorithm in work so now we can see the green path is generated from goal from the start position to the goal position now we can just use all of the points that are saved in path 1 for uh, basically uh, the robot that we have created that's a two link robot so let's go back and uh, create inverse kinematics or basically the reverse angles from using the inverse kinematics so let's start with inverse solver oh 
uh, for uh, starting inverse solver we first need to have a pin variable that is used by inverse solver and this would be the path that we have just calculated using the d star algorithm so we'll just pass paste all the uh, points in them and then we'll calculate the inverse kinematics So basically in this inverse kinematics uh, system what we're doing is we are calculating all the angles based on the path and we have been using uh, constrained and non constrained inverse kinematics to get those uh, all the angles. So now we have the angles. Now let's take a zoom in look. So green is all the path and now let's see if it converges with the path that we have calculated. So we'll just use an fkind test program to see all the paths that we have calculated or all the angles that we have calculated and we can see it's all coinciding so that means our algorithm was successful in calculating the reverse angles so now let's just take a look at the GUI and the actual uh, robotics uh, preview so for that we'll open our GUI code So this is our GUI code. So let's start with camera so that you can take a live view. So now this is our uh, main screen of the GUI. Let's start with initialization of the plot or basically creating an initial plot of the robot. And we are ready with the camera and this is our initial plot. Now let's see, uh, yes, we have found the Arduino by uh, basically refreshing the devices let's just connect to the Arduino and we know whenever we connect to the Arduino our basic uh, system will uh, make the Arduino go to this position to zero, 00 and there we go so now let's just use plot because we have already calculated the inverse kinematics problem but before that we'll just uh, initialize the starting position for now just to take a feel for the start position and that is at 132 and minus 98 and we are almost there so now let's just plot let's just calibrate the map and just start plotting So as you can see the robot has started moving and finally we have reached the goal position. Let's just uh, take uh, disconnect the Arduino and just start with the PRM algorithm. So for PRM we are going to use the same map that we have already created but before that since it is all cluttered just clear all so that we could just start from scratch to see how PRM algorithm works so let's start so we'll save the PRM uh, first we'll just load the map goal position and start position again then PRM is equals to PRM of map this will start the world that is the maps the world for PRM now let's just plan so for that we have to now you can see as the, we have the PRM object ready let's plan this will create the random set of points now let's start the path planning and for that we are storing the path and then we'll give the start and this goal position and that would be saved in path 1 and there we go so after execution of this command you should see some yellow uh, circular points or nodes but that wouldn't be connected and we won't have a particular idea about how the path looks like so uh, so let's uh, just take a look at it so this is how the path looks but we don't uh, see the obstacles and stuff so we just call this function without using the path one variable and this will give us the complete path so let's see so we have now prm.path and now we press enter Now we should uh, see the entire path and the highlighted uh, animation of the path of how PRM has calculated that particular yellow points. So now as you can see the green thing is running over the path and the points that it has 
just compute it right away so now we have all the points ready so this is the PRM algorithm now let's run the inverse kinematics over it so we have we'll save everything in fin as we did earlier and now we have all the paths in fin now we can just call the inverse solver to solve all the inverse uh, basically all the paths that we have calculated using the path planning algorithm so now since it's a CPU intensive task it takes a couple of seconds to compute all the inverse angles after those angles are done we'll just take a look at the original graph and then we'll see by using f kind test to see the inverse angles that we have calculated if they converge over the same thing that means if the algorithms work properly so let's uh, just take a look there so uh, what we should see is just the same path that we have already pointed so this is all the same path we are maximizing it to so that we could uh, see this f kind angles that is in red in color that should converge over the same path so let's try f kind test so we have f kind test and just press enter and now you should see the same path converging and as you can see all the red path is converging over the same path that means the algorithm worked successfully and we have the reverse angles so now let's just test, uh, test the same thing over the same tooling robot using the GUI so let's close it and let's start our GUI program once again so there we go let's set the camera on and before that let's initialize the plot and our cameras are on the go so that you can see the actual imagery of the camera or basically of the tooling robot so we are ready and this is init plot now let's find out the Arduino we have the Arduino here let's connect to it so it uses PowerShell to find out all the Arduinos connected to the serial port and then it lists down in the total list and the robot is at the 0, zero position so now let's start with uh, initializing the point at the start point of the obstacles of the graph that we have already placed on the clipboard. So we know the points as 132 and minus 90 degrees. So we are there almost. Alright. Let's see if the map is calibrated properly and once the map is cut I guess we should uh, take a look at this and just start plotting so now plot has started and as you can see the robot is moving in exact same path that PRM had calculated and this is our complete system uh, with all interpolation techniques included and the details are in the document so this is group 7, thanks for watching.